Photoshop has all sorts of different ways to alter and manipulate your image, from subtle refinements to individual pixels to wild transformations. Today I'd like to show you a really easy way to directly manipulate your image in a very intuitive fashion. So let's take a look at Puppet Warp in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop with this image of a Maasai warrior that we want to manipulate. And in order to do so, I need to create a layer of the part that I want to play around with. So that's what I've done here. If you want to learn about making a detailed selection, there's a playbook episode just for that, and there'll be a link for that at the end of this episode. I've used my selection tools, I've created a layer, I've saved the selection, and that's a very important part that we'll touch on in a minute. With my layer selected, I'm going to come into Puppet Warp. And Puppet Warp is really intuitive. I just drop these pins wherever I want the image to move. They're sort of little anchors. And then I can come back and grab them and move things around. I can pull them in any different direction, stretch, rotate, whatever I might want to do. When I'm done, I click on the checkbox, and that drops it in, and then I'll just add my background. Now I've got a bit of a problem here. I've got overlapping content. So what I need to do is I need to somehow remove the conflict. So let's hide our new layer and go back to our background. And remember, we saved our selection when we created that new layer. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to load that selection. And just to be safe, I want to give Photoshop a little extra room. So I'm going to expand that. Let's go with 18 pixels. I'm going to hit the Delete key to prompt the Fill dialog. Make sure this is on Content Aware, and click OK. Photoshop's going to look at the whole image, and it's going to remove what's within the selection. It's going to compare it to what's outside of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Looks great here, good enough for me to drop in the other layer, and that becomes really convincing. So that's kind of a wild, over-the-top example. You probably don't have images of Maasai warriors that you want to directly manipulate. You might have people, or eyeglasses, or hair. But let's look at a much more common example. Let's look at something like this. And in order to raise the beam in the roof here, the only thing we need to do is duplicate our layer and then come into Puppet Warp. And the trick here is to drop pins in the corners. What that's doing is it's just sort of fixing the image overall. And then I would drop a few pins along the area that you want to alter and come back and select them. I can select one. I can shift click to add the other. And then I'm just going to use my arrow key to raise that right up. So unlike Liquify, I'm not pushing pixels around. I'm using a different layer, and I'm directly manipulating it. So there you've got a quick idea of how to use selections and layers to directly manipulate an image in a way that's really intuitive using Puppet Warp.